Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see how to make the cart view page in our Django e-commerce. So previously we had made the add to cart option. So when the user increments and the product will be added and if you add again, it's going to say product already in cart. So now I want to see all my products which I have added to my cart. So for that, we will start with adding a nav item over here. So we don't have to manually type the URL. So inside your templates store and inside the INC we'll have the nav bar over here. And I'll just close the sidebar and here we have this disabled one. I'll just remove that control X. And after this home, just copy and paste over here. And I'll say cart and URL just create now. So go to the urls.py file and here create a new path and say and the view file name. So it is cart dot the function we are going to say view cart and name of the path that's going to be cart okay so copy this function name and go to your cart and here we will create a new function or here and say view cart and pass the request so here we are going to filter the product from the cart table which belongs to the logged in user so we'll create a variable cart equal to cart model dot objects dot filter and here we'll be passing user equal to request dot user okay and then we'll just create the context say cart colon cart say return render and here I'm going to pass the request comma that template name so our template is inside store yeah so inside templates you have store and then we will be creating a file over here new file called cart.html and here we will be saying that store slash cart.html and pass the context yes so save and now we'll go to the card.html and here you can just copy that from any of the file just copy the layouts paste and i'll remove this main content over here from row yeah so we don't require all of this you can just keep it till cart if you need you can just remove this thing i'll just keep it say cart and mention cart save and here let us just echo that variable this thing yeah copy that cart and paste now just refresh So let us check. Okay, so this full stop, we need to give a comma over there. So in your urls.py, here we have to give a comma, yeah. And refresh. So here it is. You can see the cart. So let us go to the cart. And here you can see we have three objects in the cart. Now let us go there and so here first we'll check in the if condition so I'll say if cart so whatever you have passed if it is true so if uh, user has any product in his cart then this will become true else it will become false so you can just show it over here else and a h4 tag you can keep it over here 
say close h4 a or cart is empty if the cart variable becomes true then we will be using a for loop for item in cart and item dot product dot name save refresh so you can see you have redmi k20 pro redmi note 7 pro and redmi note 8 so we'll just finish with this design we will just display the image over here product name and the quantity increment decrement and the remove button so designing that will take some time so i'll just finish that design and get back so here i've just completed my design and let me show you so here it is refresh and let me just explain you the code so this is a simple bootstrap design so you're using the row concept over here so we can divide this columns in this way and one thing to notice over here i'll just tell you here so if you increment this thing you can see all the three products are getting incremented so this is because we had given in the increment and decrement code you can see over here decrement button we have taken closest of product data so we need to add this class even in this page so we had copied this from the view page right so it's already present over here but it should be inside this for loop so i'll just remove it from there and add it inside this row div so in this div which we have the class row right so just next to that i will add this product data so save and refresh refresh and now you can see only this one product's quantity is increasing so i have not written any special code for this so i just made the html design and not the js so that same js what we had built for the product view right so that same thing we are using it over here so here we have the image tag so this is nothing but item dot product so we are uh, getting the data from the relationship so this is the foreign key table from that we need the product image so the column name is product image dot url to get the full url of the image so we have done that and then we have the product name and then product selling price and here we have the input type hidden product id so if you remember in the add to cart we had printed the product id over there with the input type hidden so if the user performs any actions we will get the product id so similarly when you are removing this so you can see over here remove you have and increment and decrement button so when you press that we need to know which product that is so that is why we are uh, giving this input type hidden with the product id and then we have the csr of token so to increment and decrement we need to have this csr of token and here we are checking if the product quantity is greater than the available quantity so this is uh, for the validation so in case you have already added the product to your cart and after two days the product is out of stock so but you were able to add the product to your cart previously right so it is in your cart now so there we are checking once again that if the product is out of stock when you are purchasing that time it will display out of stock if the product is out of stock so let me just give you a live demo over here so in your product this redmi note 7 pro is 2 over here i'll give 0 and now when i refresh this redmi note 7 pro this thing will be disappeared let me just refresh you can see it's showing out of stock so now either you remove it manually or when you say checkout this thing will be removed from your database that is the cart table and so this is just the if condition and this code is the same which we have in our product view page so you have it over here right this same thing we have just put it over here and then in this we have the delete button so remove button and i have given a class name delete cart item which will be using in the next video to delete this item from the cart we'll just go back and refresh so you can see this thing you have 0 0.0 right we don't want to show that because we are not using decimals over here so if your uh, website is in dollars or any other currency where you require point that time it will be useful so we have created the database in that way but for now we are not using this decimal over here so for that we will just give the string format over here say string format just remove the space and refresh so here it is so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to make the cart view page in our django e-commerce
so in the next video we will be seeing how to make this remove button and this quantity increment and decrement so that's it in this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you